Hey guys, welcome back. It's Josh, and today we're going to take a look at Halo the Master Chief Collections Halo 2 Anniversaries Forge. And because there are a couple Forge pieces that aren't included with all the other Forge objects, uh, they're sort of hidden in the map. So, first off, navigate through your menu and go to Forge, Halo 2 Anniversary Forge, and then go to uh, Stone Town. You can do Zanzibar Anniversary, however, one of the forge pieces that I was going to show you is not there, unlike Stone Town, where they all are present. So make your way over to Stone Town, select just the basic editing, uh, nothing too fancy. And after you have it loaded up, I'm going to give you a quick example of some forgeable objects like this barrier. You can obviously move it around. This turret, you can obviously move it around as well. That platform, you obviously cannot. This platform, you can't either, but you can. In a second, I'll show you how. Same as this one. You can't forge it right now, but as soon as you change the state of it, you hit that little red uh, knob, um, it'll disconnect it and it'll fall down and it acts as a bridge. So it's a really neat concept, dynamic concept as well. Uh, you can forge it after you change its state, which is very interesting. And um, I recommend changing the physics to uh, phased because when you have it on normal it kind of spazzes out you can't really have control of it so as long as you have it on phase you can pretty much uh, do whatever um, it's kind of tricky to actually place them where you want um, like in a sense to where it'll actually have its dynamic change after you uh, get rid of the connector again um, but one after you place it and stuff um, you'll notice like the name of it is, you, we have a short bridge and a long bridge, but if you go through all the objects, it's not there. So they're clearly not along with um, the other forge objects list that you can spawn and forge with, but you can do it as soon as you change the state of it. So when you do get to actually placing it where you want and you want a certain bridge to be, um, keep in mind you have to change the physics back to normal so it can have that dynamic effect. And I recommend uh, maybe placing some blocks under it so it catches, but that's just my opinion. You can't have it just free fall. However, it may be a little wobbly and um, it'll act as a little trampoline and your Spartan will probably most likely die. And uh, it's pretty crazy the way these things work, um, but I'm just gonna try to place this um, block two by two flat underneath it and see how that goes. Um, Keep in mind, this footage was when I was first playing around with this. Didn't really understand how they worked. Um, but the main thing you need to know is that to control them better, just have the physics on phased. And whenever you want to actually place it, um, you got to change it back to normal. But real quick, we're going to go over to here and get this smaller one. Just going to hop out and uh, deactivate that little connector and go back into edit mode. I can pick it up right there, the little short bridge, I have my physics on phased, and then from there you can just kind of bring it wherever you want in the map and uh, forge something new or new little area where you want a bridge to be placed um, that people can have access to. Um, but let's just bring it over here for now. And uh, upon placing it, I first did fixed and it didn't work out the way it planned. I planned. So um, the way you want these things to like reactivate, because once you hit their uh, connectors, that'll make it fall, um, you need to start a new round. So in just a second, you'll see that. But I'm placing a block 2x2 two two flat underneath this little short bridge, just so if it does fall, it'll go right onto that block. Um, but obviously, um, from experience, I tried to have it on fix and it didn't do anything. So after a couple tries, I went back and put it on normal. And that's why you'll see it this time around, they actually do work. So we're gonna start off with this, the longer bridge. I'm gonna hop out back into my actual first point, first person point of view, hop up here, try to give it a punch the first time, miss, get a little bit closer, there we go. And it falls down smoothly, works out pretty good. Nice little bridge. And I can walk across and I'll hop over to this smaller one. And uh, after 
replacing the physics to normal, it does work just a tad bit. It goes down a little bit, and I can walk across that one. And so, yeah, there's your dynamic bridges, um, hidden forge pieces. Um, you can find them on, like I said, Stone Town. You can give them a try, forge something cool, different, play around with them, and uh, see what you come up with. If you guys already knew about this, leave a comment, let me know, and because um, I'm not really sure if this is a really widespread thing. Um, I knew about it for a couple weeks and I was trying to deliberate uh, whether I wanted to make a video on it or not, but I thought it was pretty neat, and um, hopefully you guys will find it pretty cool too. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Click on one of the thumbnails on the screen for videos I've posted in the past. And last but not least, subscribe for more content I'll post in the future. Thank you very much. This was Josh, and I'll see you guys later.